Hi, Otis. Hey. Yeah, so what are we talking about today? Well, today I want to give you a little bit of overview on several stories, just my opinion, but I'm going to be live this Saturday. Not sure what time yet. I'll tweet it out what time, but I really want you to join me so that I can go a little bit deeper in some of the things I'll be talking about today and some things that I'm not going to mention today. And uh, I think I'll just kind of do that this, this way. This video won't be too long, so I hope you join me for my live. And of course, I'm sure Mr. Otis will pop in at some point. <laughs> and I also want to give a quick shout out to a friend who is really trying to get her business going. And the website is right here. Please give her um, some love. If you see anything on her website that you like and you want to buy, she could use a little bit of support for the work that she is doing with her passion and her creativity with uh, the knickknacks and things that she she does on her website. So your love to show your showing her love would be greatly appreciated. Thanks to everybody who continues to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate having you here and for watching my videos. I'm still doing some of my other royal videos. They do require some research, so they take a little bit longer to get out. So I still will be posting these videos. But today I'm going to talk a little bit about Megan's rebrand. And the reason why I want to focus as much as I can on Megan, because we have to keep this into the fore. Because what this woman is trying to do is the long game. And considering everything that she and her husband have done to the royal family, we should never forget, never forget what this woman has done and what she is all about. And I'm going to talk about, you know, why I believe her royal branding or her branding in general is going to fail and why it should fail because of all the things that we have seen year after year after year after year. OK. All right. So let's get into it. We have seen a lot going on with Harry and Meghan, the, the work of all their meetings and their plotting and their planning. We're starting to see it. It's coming out with Harry and Meghan, the launch of their new website, seriously still connected to the royal family. Harry and Meghan doing their 12th month pre-launch of the next Invictus Games, doing all this very calculated, timed information that they're posing to the public through their their press releases through their engagements uh, we can see that they are making this connection between royalty and celebrity there's clearly an aligning of things and they're trying to get off of the once told rules at the Sandringham summit what is allowed and what is not allowed and now that the the late queen is no longer with us they want to just throw that out the window and kind of revert to doing their own thing, showing no respect for what the queen has told them, what is allowed and what is not allowed, doing things that they want to do regardless of what has been told to them that they're allow allowed to do. And we see it now. We see it with everything that is happening with these new photos that have come out with Megan and her pap shots with Batgrid and people getting her coming from these restaurants, dining with, you know, a friend for, for lunch and for dinner and trying to send these messages because that's what it is. Essentially, these are messages when she allows people to catch her coming and going. She, she's giving a message. She's saying, look at me, I'm telling you something. And she's smiling and she's leaving. She's leaving, you know, the lunch and she's leaving the dinner and she's just smiling. <laughs> you know, and the pe person she's with is kind of part of that. What she's trying to say to us. OK, uh, and, and that's what I think is the most telling thing of all is from the beginning from the beginning, folks, don't get it twisted. This woman married this man. She sought him out. She plotted and planned and said, I'm going to meet someone who's going to propel my life as a D-lister. Because she was struggling to get out of that D-list status. Although she had this role on Suits, she knew it wasn't at the very, very, very top, 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 top. She knew it. 
and she wanted to get there. This is why she sought out someone like a Prince Harry to, to find him, to marry him, to engage her own celebrity. So we know she is using the royal family. She has used Harry from the beginning. She is not a genuinely nice person. We have seen by how she has treated her family and how she has allowed Harry to treat his own family. So no matter how we try to see her in this rebrand and trying to show us, OK, this is her. She's a humanitarian. She's this this royal. She's a celebrity. Look at the projects. Look at the press releases. Look at the pap shots. All these things that we see will always come down to what happened in the very beginning of this relationship. It was to use this man in the institution to elevate herself. So on that, nothing she does post these things, post the marriage and meeting the man that she's going to snap as her victim was going to be built on the false assertion that she is using them and everybody, even the people she claims to be helping. She is using them. That's my opinion. OK, everything that I say on this channel is in my opinion, ex except for the things that I get from the news and that I report on. And I can piece it and put it together and just like, just, OK, so what? We just going to try to go off and do these things and forget. Uh -uh. And so as I look at this rebranding that she is doing, I want to be like I've always said, that piece of spinach between her teeth, always there. Showing her that you are not authentic, you're not right, you are a user, you're an abuser, you can't be trusted, you are somebody that is trying to get over on people, you treat your family like crap, and guess what? We're not going to stand for it. I believe that Megan is going to now get her, she wants to be like the next Gwyneth Paltrow, the next, you know, a lifestyle blogger who has all these ideas for like things like Martha Stewart. And I believe she's going to do a TV version of the TIG. OK, that's what I believe she's going to do. But we can see the whole rebranding, repurposing of this royal couple is deteriorating. Megan thinks she's going to become this celebrity guru who is going to align herself with all these products and people that are going to be successful as she recreates her TIG on television. And I say that it's going to come down to the people not wanting to be aligned with her that have real star power names is going to be aligned with her. No talent, but trying to make high earnings with just her in front of a camera. Hey, look, they have no talent. They have nothing people want to see outside of dishing royal dirt. So as we watch them prepare and try to overcome the the breakdown of the marriage and the breakdown of them being able to earn a dollar we will sit back and watch continually how they are trying to stay above the water to survive harry gets what he has coming to him because of what he has done to his family and megan markle you get what you get because you connived from the very beginning to deceive people for your own celebrity benefit. And that right there is reason enough to hey, say, look, we are not going to forget. We see you and we're watching and we are going to scrutinize every little thing you do. What you do? Go get my popcorn. Uh uh. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're going to nitpick. We're going to look and we're going to be like, uh huh, yeah, okay, yeah, you try, you trying to do that? Oh, okay, uh huh. Because you're wrong. And you know you're wrong. And I'm going to make sure you never forget that you're wrong.